and we're going to be champions, we can't be fair weather people. We've got to be there when the chips are down. We've got to be there when the smiles are on our faces. True champions fight every day. True champions fight all the time. True champions fight when they're tired. Anybody can go when you're on the mountaintop. But we got to go when we're down in the pocket. And we're going to the top. But the march to the top starts right here tonight. This is the year of the Rattler. Go Rattlers, go! And we're going to strike. And we're going to strike. And we're going to strike again. I hate this could get ugly. here in Dover, Delaware for this MIAC matchup. Chase Monador has it teed up now and the Rattlers are sent to go deep to receive for the Hornets of Delaware State, Travis Tarpley and Malcolm Williams. This is going to be Tarpley. He's going to feel this at the goal line. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 and down at the 29-yard line where the Hornets will begin first and 10 from there. Marvin Ross on the stop for the Rattlers of Florida A&M. And let's take a look at the Delaware State starting offensive lineup. Justin Wilson, 6'195", a senior out of Windsor, Connecticut, will be the wide receiver. Nail Muradovov, 6'7", 3'10", the senior out of Burtonsville, Maryland, is the left tackle. The left guard, Keon Williams, 6'2", 275, a freshman out of Jersey City, New Jersey. Brandon Cunningham is the center, 6'2", 275, a redshirt senior out of Lumberton, New Jersey. The right guard is Jadara Green, 6'4", 300-pound so sophomore out of Washington, D.C. Taiwan Lee is the right tackle, 6'3", 330, a senior out of Miami, Florida. Ryan Langdon is the tight end, 6'4", 250, a senior out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. There's an infraction on the kickoff against the Rattlers. Yeah, they called uh, illegal formation, whatever that means, on the kickoff. It's a five-yard markoff from the point of the tackle. So the Hornets will start their first drive from the 34. Okay, Travis Tarpley will start in the halfback position for Delaware State, 5'10", 175, the redshirt senior at, from out of Danville, Virginia. Nick Elko at quarterback, 6'2", 220, the redshirt senior out of Odenton, Maryland. And the other running back, uh, Lamar Shaw, 49, uh, will start in place of Malcolm Williams at running back tonight. Okay, in motion goes Justin Wilson to the far side. Receivers now to either side, and they give it to Shaw. There was movement. Actually, I think Mike Justin Wilson in, in, encroached the line of scrimmage before the ball was snapped, and I think the Hornets are going to be guilty of that infraction. Yeah, the Hornets actually got a nice-looking run on that first play. Illegal motion against Delaware State is the call, and it will back the Hornets up five and make it first down now and 15. And the Hornets now will begin from their own 30, which was the original line of scrimmage on the kickoff. First and 15 now for the Hornets. They're moving right to left. And the Rattlers, again, in the road whites tonight. Orange helmets, white jerseys with orange numbers and white pants. First and 15 for the Hornets now. Two back set and two tight ends. A power lineup for Nick Elko. Long snap. Now since Justin Wilson in motion to the near side. And they give it to Shaw again, and again he finds a big hole, 45 midfield, and driven out of bounds finally at the 45-yard line of FAMU. And Lamar Shaw is going to pick up 25 yards on that carry to the Rattler, 45. The FAMU defense is going to start. Patrick Scott, 6'1", 293, out of Lincoln High, the nose. The right end, Brandon Davis, 6'4", 295. The left end, Zelly Hippolyte, 6'4", 275 out of Daytona Beach. The outside linebackers, Brandon Denmark, 6'4", 235, out of Tallahassee, Florida. And Bobby Jackson, 6'1", 230, from Miami Jackson. Brandon Hepburn, 6'4", 235, is from Mona, California, on the inside. Along with William Small, 6'2", 230, from Austell, Georgia. All right, Hornets in, tight end, in motion. Nick Elko again, two back set. 
It's got uh, Lamar Shaw, who's been the workhorse, and he gets the call again. This time, he's going to run smack into like Mike Ducree. Mike Ducree on the stop for the Rattlers. After maybe a two-yard gain, we'll call it second down and eight to go for the Hornets of Delaware State. That Rattler secondary has Terry Johnson, 6 feet 2 at 183 out of Tallahassee Records on one corner along with Marvin Ross, 5'10", 175 from Jacksonville. Devin Roberts, 6'1", 200 starts on one safety along with John Ojo, 6'3", 200 out of Tallahassee, Florida High. You also see a lot of Jonathan Pillow, Keith, at the safety spot. So as a matter of fact, Jonathan is getting a start this week. Ryan Langdon and Jamel Bashir, the two tight ends, line to the far boundary. Elko passes downfield, has got a man wide open at the Rattler 27-yard line. That's Justin Wilson, 6'195", the senior out of Windsor, Connecticut. And that moves to change the Hornets uh, on the move at the Rattler 27-yard line. Yeah, you'll see them in a lot of empty backfield sets. That time, four receivers to the right, Justin Wilson isolated to the left. And they go to Justin Wilson for the first down catch. All right, Hornets set to go. First and 10 at the Rattler 27 with 12.52 to play in the first quarter. Elko gives to Lamar Shaw, picking his way on the stretch play, trying to find a hole. Not much running room there this time. Jonathan Pillow comes up from his strong safety position to make the stop. Mike Pillow starting this afternoon in place of Devin Roberts. Yeah, Pillow was one of the leading tacklers on the team despite not having started in the first three games. Yeah, gain of three, second down and seven to go now for the Hornets of Delaware State, boss resting at the Rattler 24. And this time Justin Wilson will go wide to the far boundary and the Hornets will line up two backs in the backfield, Lamar Shaw, one of them now the tight end goes in motion far to the wide side. They give it to Shaw again, and Shaw again finds a hole and rips his way all the way down to the Rattler 9. That's a strong run by Lamar Shaw, 5'9", 230-pound redshirt sophomore out of Mount Vernon, New York. Actually, Keith, a sort of odd formation that the Hornets are running. They're in the shotgun formation, but they've got both running backs to the same side of the quarterbacks. Most teams will have one on either side. They have both running backs to either side of the quarterback. Yeah, Dehan Shong is the other running back, and now the tight end goes in motion out there with Wilson. Now Wilson comes in motion to the near side. Elko counting his signals. The Hornets first and goal from the Rattler 10. They give it to Shaw, and Shaw picks a hole, and he's in. Touchdown. A 10-yard run by Lamar Shaw, and on the first drive of the afternoon, Delaware State marches down the field and goes 70 yards for a score. Yeah, and we came into the ball game thinking that the Hornets were going to keep the football in the air on that first drive. They got some, actually some power running between the tackles and jump out to that 6 nothing lead. Delaware State takes the early lead. Mitchell Ward will come on to attempt to point after. As the Hornets draw first blood and take the early lead. Here's the snap placement. Kick is airborne. And it's good. And so, with 11 minutes and 32 seconds to play in the first quarter here in Dover, Delaware, our score, Delaware State 7, fam you nothing. We'll be back after these words from our network sponsors on the Rattler Sports Network. The flavor station always represent that real hip hop and RB. Sean D is in the building to that 7 o'clock hour. Mitchell Ward all set to kick it off after he kicks the extra point and gives Delaware State an early 7 0 lead over the Rattlers of Florida and m It was Lamar Shaw who went in from 10 yards out for the score. 
And Ward gets a high end over end kick. This will be James Owens, and he feels this at the 6, 10, 15, 20, 25. And James Owens down at the 33-yard line. So the Rattlers of Florida A&M will begin its first possession of the afternoon. First and 10 from there, moving left to right. Let's take a look at the Rattlers' starting offensive lineup. Travis Harvey, the flanker, 6'2", 185, the redshirt senior out of Inglewood, California. The left tackle is Big Robert Hartley, 6'7", 320, the redshirt senior out of Lake City, Fort White High School. Drew Savory is the left guard, 6'6", 315, the freshman out of Tallahassee, NFCS. Doug Almendares is the center, 6'3", 310, a junior out of Miami Nassau Community College. Kevin House, the right guard, 6'3", 300-pound junior out of Jacksonville's Ed White. Zary Patterson is the right tackle. 6'2", 340, the freshman out of Fort Pierce, and we'll give you the rest of the Rattler lineup after this play. Damian Fleming set to pass. He's hit, and Fleming's going to be dropped on a sack by big number 95, Rodney Gunter for Delaware State, and that's going to be a tackle for loss. Michael Etheridge is the tight end, 6'2", 230, the junior out of Tallahassee, Godby. Eddie Rocker, 5'8", 175, the senior out of Ocala. Damian Fleming, the quarterback, 6'3", 205-pound sophomore out of Jacksonville, Reebok. And Lonnie Lockett is the fullback, 6'2", 215, the redshirt junior out of Baton Rouge, Catholic. The other wide receiver is Linworth Lennon, 5'9", 168, a redshirt sophomore out of Fort Lauderdale, Boyd Anderson. Second down for the Rattlers. And about 18 yards to go. Fleming going to air it out, going to throw the home run ball downfield for Harvey, who makes the catch, but did he catch it in bounds? He caught it in bounds, and it's going to be marked at the 40-yard line of Delaware State. What a strike from Damian Fleming to Travis Harvey. And boy, we've seen Travis Harvey do that so many times this year, Keith, when there's a jump ball situation. He goes up and gets it over the defender. Delaware First and 10 Rattlers at the Delaware State 40-yard line. Yeah, Dell State is in a 3-3-5 nickel defense look, Keith, and I'm going to give you those players in just a second. Okay, here we go. Damian Fleming sends twins to the far boundary and isolates Travis Harvey to the near side. Play action swings it out here for J Linworth Lennon. He's got the first down inside the 30 to 25 to 20, and Linworth Lennon fumbles the ball way out of bounds, and penalty markers are thrown, but Linworth, more than picks up the first down, should move the chains, and we may actually have a face mask tacked on at the end of the play. Yeah, quick bubble screen out to Linworth and a great block by his receiver, his fellow receiver out of the front of it. The Dell State's defense uh, will get the penalty first. All right, half the distance to the goal on the personal foul, which will move will be tacked on to the big play already from Linworth Lennon. Yeah, it's going to be first down and goal. Uh, looks like from about the, well, they're still moving back, nine-yard line. The first and goal Rattlers from the Hornet nine. The Hornets lead 7 nothing, but the Rattlers have come right back down the field under the arm of Damian Fleming from the gun. Gives to Owens. Owens tries to turn upfield. Can't go a vicious hit. And a penalty marker is thrown on the play. Actually, it was Eddie Rocker, the running back. He took a vicious shot, but a penalty marker on the play. Yeah, I think we're going to get a hold. Oh. It's going to go against the Rattlers for holding, as Mike called it. 9.59 to go in the first quarter. The Hornets lead 7-0. The Rattlers will back up 10 after the assessment on the infraction. Yeah, that 3-3-5 defense has Keith Hunter, 6'1", 220 at one end, along with Rodney Gunner, who got the sack. He's 6'5", 300 from Fort Hamilton. George Banta, 6'1", 270 from Woodbridge, Virginia, is another defensive tackle. And we'll finish it in just a second. Okay, Damian Fleming and the Rattler offense this time sends Linworth Lennon in motion. Triplets now to the far boundary. Harvey is isolated near side. Fleming pulls it up, and now he's got running room. Inside the 15, inside the 10. Damian Fleming out of bounds at about the seven yard line, and it's going to make it third down and goal to a second down and goal to goal for the Rattlers from the Hornet seven. The rest of those linebackers, Quentin Ford, 6'3, 255. He's from Reston, Virginia. Ernest Ajay, 6'2, 235, is from Woodbridge. Olishan Ian Bialo, 6'2", 250, is from Greenbelt, Maryland. Their cornerbacks, Jermon Colson, 5'11", 170, from Norfolk, along with Nick Williams, 5'9", 170, from San Diego. Their safety is Joe Boyd, 6'195", from Fort Washington, Maryland, and Devon Moore, 5'11", 190, from Mount Vernon, New York. 
All right, here we go. Rattler set. Damian Fleming looks, swings the pass out here for James Owens. Inside the five, Owens hit, powers his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Florida AM. and And that's exactly right, Keith. You're talking about a really small guy in James Owens, about 5'7", maybe 180 pounds, but he took on a defensive back at the goal line, drives him into the end zone, and just like that, the Rattlers come right back down the field and have a chance to tie the score with 9.06 remaining here in the first quarter. All right, Chase Varnador on to attempt a point after. Brandon Holdren will hold snap placement. Kick is airborne and good. And so with 9.06 to play here in Dover, our score, Florida a and 7, Delaware State 7. We'll be back after these words from our network sponsors on the Rattler Sports Network. program supports all athletic programs at the university. Join the Rattler Booster Club. It's not too late. Introducing a mobile application that can open up an entire new world for the orange and green faithful with the ability to check out the latest in-campus news, events, athletic scores, and much, much more. Specifically designed for the family. Whether it's linking to your class courses from your mobile device, looking through maps to find specific buildings on campus, or just having some fun looking through uploaded videos and photos, a great addition to your mobile FAMU student lifestyle. Get your FAMU app today. Picking up right where he left off a week ago, scores his first touchdown of the afternoon on a seven-yard pass, powering into the end zone. Chase Monador's kick is going to sell in the end zone, and the Hornets will begin their second drive of the afternoon from their own 25-yard line. Yeah, that drive capped off by the James Owens catch and run. 68 yards and five plays. It took two minutes and 20 seconds off the clock. And let's see if uh, the defense now can stiffen as the Hornets actually came out running some power football against that Rattler defense. During the timeout, Keith, I saw Rattler safety John Ojo uh, being taken back to the locker room by the training staff. He came in with a tender foot, so that may be bothering him here. All right, Delaware State set to go. And they're starting from their own 25-yard line. Nick Elko sends Justin Wilson in motion. Two backs in the backfield. Elko going to run the option for Shaw. And Shaw breaks the tackle and is immediately dropped over there by Terry Johnson. Six foot, 183-pound sophomore out of Tallahassee Rickards. Rattlers decided to bring pressure that time as they go to the option. They have op obviously worked on a lot of running plays here to try to throw this FAMU defense off. Hey, Keith and Mike, real quick update. I heard Mike just mentioning John Ojo, number 25. Uh, it is the same thing, his turf toe, so guys, I'll keep you updated as it comes. All right, here we go. Nick Elko. And going to send this time... A new receiver in motion, Elko on the draw play, straight ahead. And he gives it this time to Dehong Shong. Dehong Xiong is how to pronounce it correctly. And it's going to bring up third down now and about five to go for the Hornets of Delaware State. Yeah, Keith, and it's George Maxey. 6'2", 230-pound redshirt freshman from Jacksonville who actually is listed as a linebacker has moved into the safety spot replacing John Ojo. Tight end in motion. Get play action. Elko wants to pass. Fires over the middle. That pass is caught 
and down at the Rattler 49 yard line goes tight end Ryan Langdon, 6'4", 250 pound senior out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And that's a first down for the Hornets of Delaware State, 7.30 to play in the first quarter. And we're all tied up at seven apiece. Yeah, last week, Keithy, this team went us against FBS Cincinnati out of the Big East. They lost that game 23-6, although they did force six turnovers against Cincinnati in a real close ball game. All right, Nick Elko this time hands it off to Deon Shaw, and on Shaw fights his way across the 45 down to about the 43-yard line. And on Chong, Mike, uh, outstanding looking running back. We we're calling him Lamar Shaw early, but it's Dayon Shaw. And I think actually Keith Lamar Shaw is the lead back uh, for home. We'll tell you more about Dayon Shaw after this play. They hand it off to a new back in the backfield for the Hornets this time. Number 34, Najee Jackson, 6'1", 215, the freshman out of Gainesville, Virginia. Dayon Shaw. 5'9", 170, a freshman out of Coatesville, Pennsylvania. Which is the home of Billy Joe. Which is the home of the legendary William Billy Joe. All right, here we go. Third down and four for Delaware State. Nick Elko under center. And I formation gives it to... It's oh, Elko really faked, it. faked it and was rocked. In Brandon the backfield Denmark. by Brandon Denmark, who missed the game a week ago, but was happy and fired up Mike down uh, before he came out for warm-ups. And, boy, that's a big play, a loss of about three, or oh, actually more than that. Yeah, he wasn't fooled on the play fake at all, Keith. He went straight for Elko and gets him for the big sack and forces a punt now yeah, from Mar the Hornets. Marco Cano on the punt. And it's James Owens deep to receive from the Rattlers of FAMU. Nice tight spiral is going to drive Owens back to the five-yard line. He feels it there. Gets a couple of blocks. Turns up field. Stays on it. Oh, this is Linworth Lennon. And Lennon going to be taken down at about the 16-yard line. But penalty markers are on the play. Yeah, we're going to get a block in the back. It's going to force us to have to go the long field. But the Rattler defense, Keith, answered the power running that time with pressure coming from the safety spot to shut down that drive. Yeah, Linworth Lennon that time back to return that kick. All right, so it's going to back the Rattlers up. And it'll be a half the distance mark off to the goal and push the Rattlers back. They'll spot the football at about the seven-yard line where the Rattlers will begin our second possession of the afternoon, first and ten from there. I want to remind you, coming up on halftime at FAMU with our Glendale Presley, she's going to talk with FAMU College of Pharmacy professor Mildred Brickler about FAMU Health Day with an emphasis on the importance of health screenings. That's coming up on halftime at FAMU. Rattlers give it to Eddie Rocker, and Rocker bulldozes his way out past the 10-yard line to about the 12. And it's going to make it second down. And let's see, about six to go for a Rattler first down. Gain of four, second down. Let's call it six to go for a Rattler first down. Yeah, Eddie Rocker, not a big guy, Keith. Again, 5'8", about 175 pounds, but not afraid to stick that ball up in there between the tackles. Damian Fleming, eye formation this time. Receivers to either side. He's under center. Orange helmets are down. They give it to the eye back again. And again, it's Rocker. And Rocker powers his way across the 15, out to about the 17, maybe the 18. We'll see where they spot the football. But again, power running that time, Mike, by Eddie Rocker. And Eddie's only five. Oh, he's going to pick up the first down. Eddie's only 5'8", 175 pounds, a senior out of Ocala, North Marion High School, Mike. But he lowered his shoulders, got low to the ground, and just Eddie moved Rocker the first. stack for the first down. Yeah, runs with surprising power for a little guy. First and 10 Rattlers. Balls resting at our own 18. We're moving left to right. 
Triplets to the near boundary. Travis Harvey is isolated to the far side for Damian Fleming. Play action is going to swing it out here for Linworth Lennon. He turns up field across the 20. 25 spinning and turning, and Linworth down at the 27-yard line. And he's real close, Mike, to another Rattler first down. It's going to bring up second down and about one to go for Rattler first down. Yeah, again, they get the bubble screen. Again, good blocking by the other receivers on the outside. Uh, they're taking a look, and again, that's going to be a first down. 3.54 to go here in the first quarter of play, and that'll move the chains. The Rattlers with the first down now at our own 28-yard line, moving left to right. Adamson, Felix, and Linworth winning twins to the far boundary. Travis Harvey is isolated here near side now. James Owens out of the backfield goes to that side, and Damian fires downfield for Harvey. He's got it at midfield and into Hornet territory down at the 47-yard line, and that's a Rattler first down. Move those chains. Yeah, a bit of creative play calling right there from the Rattler offense. They faked the bubble screen that time, hit their receiver going down the seam again. It's the dangerous Harvey, and the Rattler drive is in business again. First and 10 Rattlers at the Delaware State 47-yard line. 3.22 to play here in the first quarter. We're all tied up at seven apiece. Travis Harvey isolated far side, triplets, oh, check that, twins to the near boundary, and now Anthony Williams goes in motion to the far side, joining Harvey. Damian Fleming sets up in the pocket, pulls it down, he's going to run, he's got running room at the 45 and slides to about the 41-yard line, and Mike Damian, we talked to him yesterday at, uh, well, maybe we shouldn't say where we talked to him yesterday, but it's a chicken place, and they have the late chicken. There you go, you figure it out. Okay, so Davey was saying he didn't think he was really that fast, but he has deceptive speed, and that time he got what he could and slid, picked up about, about oh, nearly five yards on the play. Yeah, well, one of the things I think Damien needs to do is trust his speed a little bit more. Second down and five for the Rattlers. Damien this time going to give it to James Owens, and Owens lunges forward to the 40 yard line it's going to bring up third down and three for a rattler first down and so he'll pick up two more third down and three for the rattler that time they were running behind the freshman offensive lineman jerry patterson 6'4, 325 pounder out of fort pierce central high school Third down and three. Damian Fleming throws the slant to Travis Harvey. He makes the reception and lunges forward, gives the Rattlers a first down and 10 now at the Delaware State 33 yard line. So the Rattlers move the chains, first and 10, Bam U. On a gain of seven. This time, Dwayne Harvey wide to the far boundary. Travis Harvey near side. They give it to Eddie Rocker. And Rocker finds a hole, scoops his way inside the 30, down to the 29, maybe the 28. We'll see where they spot the football. Good lead block there, Keith, by Lonnie Lockett. Nice five-yard gain. As again, they run between his head. Keith, right now, Damian Fleming, six for six for 117 yards here in the first quarter. And we've got Dwayne Harvey wide to the far boundary. Travis Harvey wide to the near side. No relation. And backs in the eye formation. Lonnie Lockett is the up back. And it's James Owens, the eye back. Play action. Damian Fleming wants to throw. Flows downfield for Harvey. Incomplete. And the Hornets that time had Harvey triple covered downfield. And as soon as he... Fake the handoff to James Owens. You can hear the coaches in the box go, pass. And Keith, the next time you see the Rattlers in the eye formation and they make that play fake, I guarantee they're going to try to work to the strong side where the big tight end came wide open. They did. They rolled the coverage over to this side against uh, Harvey, but the big tight end came wide open. All right, here we go. Third down for the Rattlers and six to go. Harvey. Isolated near side, twins to the far boundary is Dwayne Harvey and Linworth Lennon. Damian Fleming rolls, picks up a couple of blocks, dances, lunges forward, and Damian, well, he lunges across the 25 to the near the 24 yard line. That's going to be real close to a Rattler first down. It's going to bring up fourth down and maybe a yard and a half to go. And now it looks like Chase Vonador and the Rattler field goal team checks on with 31 seconds to play in the first quarter. Yeah, they actually moved it back a little bit, Keith, all the way back to the 25. So it would have been a yard and a half for the first down. 
So they're going to let Vonador attempt a, looks like a 42-yarder here from the left hash mark. Chase Vonador from 42 yards. Brandon Holdren will hold. Snap placement. Kick is airborne, but no good. And so with nine seconds remaining in the first quarter of play, our score, FAMU 7, Delaware State 7. We'll be back after these words from our local sponsors on the Rattler Sports Network. program supports all athletic programs at the university. Join the Rattler Booster Club. It's not too late. Delaware State tosses the screen pass out here to Travis Harpley, and Harpley moves the chains into Rattler territory, out of bounds at the 48-yard line, where it's first and 10 for Delaware State now. The Hornets moving left to right as we begin the second quarter of play. In the first quarter of play, Keith, Nick Elko, two for two for 36 yards, but Dehan Shung runs for 76 yards and nine carries to lead the Hornets. All right, here we go. Nick Elko this time with triplets to the boundary and isolates Justin Wilson to the near side. Dion Chong in the backfield, and Elko swings that pass a slant, but it's going to be an infraction against Delaware State, illegal procedure. And that'll move the Hornets back five. Yeah, for the Rattlers of Florida a &M. Number seven of the offense. Five-yard penalty. Still first down. Damian Fleming goes six of seven for 109 yards. Travis Harvey, two catches for 43 yards. Eddie Rocker and, and James Owens combined for 34 yards and seven carries. And so the Hornets will back up five. As the referee asked the clock operator to reset the game clock to 14 minutes and 30 seconds. It'll be first down and 15 now for the Delaware State Hornets with the ball resting at their own 47-yard line. We're all tied up here in Dover at seven apiece. Nick Elko with Deion Chong in the backfield. He gets the call and, boy, finds another big seam in the Rattler defense and fights his way to the 41-yard line of FAMU. And that's going to be a gain of about 13 yards and make it second down and two to go for Delaware State. Mike, the Rattlers giving up some big rips in that defensive front right now. Yeah, they're spreading the Rattler defense out and running the ball back up inside. All right, here we go. Nick Elko, triplets to the far side. Justin Wilson isolated near side. They give it to a new back in the backfield. And just like Yon Chong, he finds a seam and fights his way straight ahead. That's number 20 for the Hornets. Kadir Bryant, 5'11", 185-pound freshman out of Felton, Delaware. And he's going to pick up a first down for Delaware State. Well, Keith, the Rattlers actually went to their dime defense. They had a couple of extra defensive backs in the game. They took out a couple of linebackers. Uh, so smart play calling by the Hornets as they run the ball against the smaller defensive backs. And again, the Hornets go. Triplets to the far boundary. Isolate Justin and Wilson to the near side. And Felton again, the lone setback for Nick Elko. Elko from the gun. And here we go. Play action. They swing it out here on the screen to Harpley. Harpley eludes two Rattlers inside the 20, 15, 10. Harpley all the way down to the seven-yard line of FAMU. And Mike, once again, Missed tackling, plaguing the Rattlers. That play should have been stopped at least 10 yards upfield. Yeah, but also smart play calling, Keith. The Rattlers brought a couple of linebackers back into the game. They take the defensive backs out, and the uncovered receiver was the one that received that bubble screen. Travis Tarpley takes it down to the Rattlers' seven, and it's first and goal to go for the Hornets of Delaware State. Nick Elko this time under center. 
and Elko sends receivers to either side. They hand it off to number 34 for the Hornets, Najee Jackson, and he is hit right at the interior of that Rattler defensive front. Big Patrick Scott is there, along with Brandon Davis, Ellie Hippolyte, and William Smalls. Second down and goal to go. No gain on the play. Second and goal to go for the Hornets from the Rattler seven. This time the Hornets send Justin Wilson wide to the far side and to the near side is Travis Tarpley. And again it's Jackson, the lone setback, and there's illegal motion is going to be the call against Delaware State. False stop. Number 63 of the offense. Five yard penalty. Still second down. And that'll back the Hornets up five. So instead of second and goal to go from the seven, it is now second and goal to go from the Rattler 12. Two tight ends set this time for the Hornets. 12.03 to go here in the first half. We're tied at seven apiece. Play action, Elko's gonna throw the screen down there for Justin Wilson. He made the catch, but he was out of bounds. And so it's going to bring up third down and goal to go for the Hornets from the Rattler 12. Yeah, they tried to throw the back shoulder throw that time. Marvin Ross, who's been outstanding all year, the redshirt senior out of Jacksonville's Trinity Christian, was in excellent coverage. It's going to bring up a big third down now and goal to go. 11.51 to play in the first half. Again, we're tied at seven apiece here in Dover. Nick Elko. With Jackson, the lone setback. Elko going to throw for the end zone. That pass for the Delaware State receiver, Justin Bruton, had to play defense as that pass was nearly picked off by the Rattler defender. Antoine Matthews. Rattler sent the dime package in, and that time they tried to pass into it. It was tremendous coverage that time by Antoine Matthews, who had great position on the receiver. All right, fourth down and 12 for Delaware State. The Rattler defense stops the Hornets from scoring a touchdown. Let's see as Marco Cano checks on to attempt what will be a 28-yard field goal from the middle of the field. Travis Tarpley will hold. Spot placement kick is on the way, and it's good. And so with 11.41 to play here in the first half, our score from Dover, Delaware State 10. Florida AM7 will be back after these words from our local sponsors on the Rattler Sports Network. Introducing a mobile application that could open up an entire new world for the orange and green faithful with the ability to check out the latest in campus news, events, athletic scores, and much, much more. Specifically designed for the family. Whether it's linking to your class courses from your mobile device, looking through maps to find specific buildings on campus, or just having some fun looking through uploaded videos and photos, a great addition to your mobile family student lifestyle. Get your family at today. Vasti Paul back there also. Kano kicks a high end over end kick. This is going to be Owens. He's going to feel this at the 2, 10, 15, 20. 25, Owens turns up field at the 30, 35, Owens, 40, Owens, 45, and out of bounds at about the 46-yard line. An excellent return by the speedster, James Owens. And you can see him just ease up just a little bit at the end, Keep that hamstring probably still a little bit sore, but the Rattlers going to start in tremendous field position. First and 10 Rattlers moving right to left at our own 46-yard line with 11.30 to play here in the first half, trailing 10-7 to, to the Hornets of Delaware State. Yeah, I want to take this chance to send out condolences first to the Cozart family and then to the Fitzpatricks and extended family, uh, especially Linda Kent, uh, Calvin, and Melvin on the loss of Silla B. Fitzpatrick. My aunt, you guys know my heart is down there with you. And here we go, Damian Fleming. Pump fakes, tosses the screen pass out front to Eddie Rocker, and Eddie all over, up and over a Delaware State defender and down at the Hornet 41-yard line. That's a Rattler first down. Move those chains. But on a lighter note, I want to say uh, early happy birthday to my mom, Margaret Polite, and Melvin Fitzpatrick, whose birthdays all will fall on uh, September 23rd. Happy 91st, Mom. Oh, that's outstanding. Mrs. Thomas, happy birthday. And we'll get to more shout-outs a little bit later. Here we go, Damian Fleming. 
This time gives to James Owens. Got a lead blocker in front of him. Bounces outside. Owens finds some running room at the 25. And Owens down to the 21-yard line. That's a Rattler first down. Move those chains. Keith, an excellent t block in that time by the Rattler center, Doug Almanderas. You don't see a lot of guys who can snap the football and get around the corner to lead the sweep. But that time, Almanderas, an outstanding job. First and 10 Rattlers, they spot it right at the 20-yard line. So at the red zone for Florida a and the Hornets scored, and here come the Rattlers right back down the field at the Delaware State 20. This time, Damian Fleming sets twin receivers to the near boundary, isolates Travis Harvey, and this time gives to Eddie Rocker, and the Rocket Man scoots to about the 17-yard line. That's a gain of three. It'll make it second down and seven for the Rattlers of FAMU. Another good uh, job of blocking that time. You saw the edge taken away, so Eddie Rocker sticks his foot in the ground and turns that upfield for a good game. 10-13 to go in the first half. 10-7, the Hornets lead. The Rattlers threatening, though, inside the red zone at the Delaware State 17-yard line. Second down and seven. Dwayne Harvey and Linworth Lennon. Now Linworth goes in motion to the far side and joins Travis Harvey over there. Fleming, this time play action, is going to toss back to Harvey, and Harvey picks up the first down and fights his way inside the 10, down to about the 8, maybe the 7. We'll see where they spot the football. Yeah, again, Keith, the key to those plays is the blocking that you get out in front from your wide receivers, and so far an outstanding job that the Rattler receivers helping each other out. That's going to be first down and goal at about the 7-yard line. They mark it at the 7, first and goal for Florida A&M, 945 to play, and the Rattlers knocking on the door at the Delaware State 7. Dwayne Harvey wide near side, Travis Harvey wide to the far side. Two tight ends, eye formation for Damian Fleming. The eye back is the Rocket Man, and he gets the call. Bounces outside, Eddie Rocker hit, and well, that's a good look and tackle by big number 94, Keith Hunter, or was it 44? 44. Devon Moore makes the stop, and that was a sure tackle, Mike, because he wrapped him up and tossed him down. You can't let a guy like uh, Eddie Rocker built low to the ground, lower those shoulders on you and go because he will scoot right into the end zone. So it's going to bring up second down and goal to go for the Rattlers from the Hornet 7. And again, the Rattlers have the Rocket Man in the backfield. Damian Fleming, though, looking to pass. Steps up now, pulls it down, and Damian fights his way and we're going to have a penalty marker dropped on the Yeah, play. I think we're going to get a holding against the Rattlers. That's going to back us up. Hold. In the 72 of offense, 10-yard penalty, second down. That's going to go against Big Robert Hartley. That'll back us up. Yeah. And so it'll make it second and goal to go from the 17 now. And it's a big difference, right? Second and goal from the 7. And 17 sort of changes the strategy a little bit. Yes, if I look across the way, though, Keith, I see a sprinkling of orange and green over there on the far side. Uh, some Rattlers uh, made it in uh, from uh, any of the surrounding areas, and I'll tell you a little bit about where Delaware is located in just a second. All right, here we go. Damian Fleming goes triplets to the far boundary. Eddie Rocker, the lone setback. Harvey to the other side. And Damian's going to be hit and dropped. This time, it's number 57 for the Delaware State Hornets. That's Jeff Gay, 6'1", 265, and Aaron Richardson, 6'1", 240, converging on the tackle for Delaware State. Yeah, Dover, Delaware, uh, Delaware period, Keith, we're playing on the Del Marva Peninsula. I guess we're about 40 minutes south of Philadelphia, New Jersey area, and about maybe an hour and a half east of the Baltimore DC area. Third down and 17 now for the Rattlers or goal to go. And Damian Fleming sets up, steps in the pocket, fires for the end zone. Got a man back there. It's caught by Travis Harvey. That's a touchdown. Travis Harvey goes up and makes the catch. And Keith, covered or not, Damian Fleming knows that he can go to Travis Harvey. He's going to out jump the defender and pull that football down. There was no way, if you're a defensive coach, that that should happen on a third down and 17. But Travis Harvey goes up and gets it. And the Rattlers retake the lead with 7.38 to go in the second quarter. Chase Varnador will check on to attempt the point after. It will be Brandon Holdren to hold with 7.38 to go. Snap, placement, kick is airborne. And... 
good. And so the Rattlers regain the lead. It's 14 to 10 here in Dover. And we'll be back after these words from our local sponsors on the Rattlers Sports Network. I'm Mickey Clayton, Executive Director of the Rattler Booster Club. The Rattler Booster Club contributed $591,000 to the Athletic Department of Florida a and University. Some of the things we were able to purchase this year was the Jumbotron, and we assisted with the scoreboard and the Al Lawson Center, and golf carts for our seasoned Rattler Booster supporters, pitching machine for the baseball team, the shooting machine for the basketball team. So the Rattler Booster program supports all athletic programs. Join the Booster Club. Call the Rattler Booster office at 850-224-6093. It's not too late. program supports all athletic programs at the university. Join the Rattler Booster Club. It's not too late. Chase Bonador all sent to kick it off high end over end kick and the Hornets takes a bounce and then scooped up at the 15. Travis Tarpley back behind the five and he's going to be run down at the 15 yard that's good kick coverage by the rattler special teams and that was a big mistake to let that football bounce because that gave the rest of that uh kick coverage team a chance to get down there close he had to run east and west and they do run him down just short of the 20 yard line and so the hornets will begin first and 10 from their own 16 yard line moving left to right with seven minutes and 38 seconds remaining in the first half, the Rattlers leading 14 to 10. Nick Elko going all the way at quarterback tonight. And Elko gives to Deong Chong. And he fights his way across the 25-yard line. And he's going to pick up the first down and move the chain. Now right now, Keith, on offense, Damian Fleming is 9 of 10 for 153 yards and two touchdowns. He is simply having an outstanding day. And we've got some whistles on the field. Travis Harvey, leading receiver, he has four catches for 74 yards. They're resetting the game clock here. That's why time has been called. George Maxi Keith, who came in to substitute for uh, John Ojo at that safety position, now the leading tackler for the Rattlers. I, I don't know how that play only took two seconds. The, the clock was seven minutes and 30 seconds when the play started. How, how did that only take two seconds? But the referee made him put, put it back to 7.28. That pass nearly picked off top, but caught by Travis Tarpley. And he's going to pick up a first down as Brandon Hepburn drops him at about the 38-yard line. That'll be a first down for Delaware State. Bubble screen that time out to uh, Tarpley, who again breaks the tackle, gets upfield, and... Another drive started here for the Hornets. Ball's resting at the Delaware State 39-yard line. 7.05 to go. Clock is ticking. Isolated receiver to the far boundary. Triplets over here to the near side for Nick Elko. Rattlers threatening blitz. This is first action for John Ojo, who sat out the last game against the Hampton Pirates. They hand it off to a new back end for Delaware State. Kadir Bryant, and he's going to pick up uh, maybe three and make it second down and about seven to go for the Hornets of Delaware State. Yeah, they may have gone in and retaped Ojo because he is back out there now in his safety position along with Jonathan Pillow. All right, Hornets go. Spread formation this time, twin receivers to either side. And Elko, again, looking to pass, has pressure this time, tosses it across the middle. It's caught by Justin Wilson, 
who is immediately dropped by Marvin Ross, but not before he picks up the first down and moves the chains for Delaware State. Ball resting now at the Rattler 48-yard line with 6'10 to play in the first half. Yeah, Justin Wilson is their leading receiver, 6'1", 175-pound redshirt senior from Windsor, Connecticut. You'll see most of the Hornet players, Keith, from the New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Maryland area, uh, part of that Delmarva Peninsula. All right. Hornets go wing right. Now the big tight end goes in motion. That's Jamel Barshier. And Nick Elko going to throw downfield. That pass nearly picked off by Marvin Ross. It was intended down there for Travis Tarpley, but it falls incomplete. Yeah, good job by the Rattler defensive backs, Keith. They didn't bite on the play fake, and actually there was double coverage back there on top as they tried to hit him on a deep one. Going to make it second down now and 10 <laughs> for Delaware State from the Rattler 48-yard line. 5.41 to go here in the first half, and the Rattlers lead 14 to 10 here in Dover, Delaware. Yeah, and so far it's one of those games where the punter doesn't look like he's going to get a lot of work. Both these offenses marching up and down the field. Nick Elko. 6'2", 220, the red shirt senior out of Odenton, Maryland. Boy, going to be forced. Boy, he's, he may be sacked. He is sacked. That ball popped out, too. Elko falls quickly on it, but on the stop is Brandon Davis. 6'4", 295, the red shirt senior out of Jacksonville, Robert E. Lee. And that's a good-looking defensive play by Brandon Davis. Yeah, Rattlers is going with just a four-man rush that time, and Brandon Davis able to work around his man, get a big paw on Elko, and able to drag him down. Third down now and 14 to go for Delaware State from their own 48-yard line with 5.07 to play in the first half, trailing by 4, 14 to 10. Nick Elko, five wides, no backs this time. And Elko steps up in the pocket. He's hit again, and he's sacked again. That's a great defensive play once again by Brandon Davis. Yeah, first man through was Patrick Scott, who made him step up into the pocket, and Brandon Davis is right there. And, boy, just like that, the Rattlers do get a defensive stop on two good pressures. What we mentioned in the uh, beginning of the broadcast was going to be one of the keys, and they're going to force a Hornet punt with 4.30 remaining before halftime. Marco Kano on the punt. Linworth Lennon is deep to receive for the Rattlers of Florida a and &M. Rattlers lead 14-10. Kano's punt, end over end. Linworth going to let it bounce, and it's going to be down at about the eight-yard line where the Rattlers will begin first and 10 with four minutes and nine seconds remaining in the first half of play. And Mike, that was pretty smart of Linworth to just kind of get out the way and uh, let's take it from our own eight-yard line. Yeah, don't take a chance on uh, something bad happening. All content of this Florida a University football broadcast on the Rattler Sports Network is the explicit copyrighted property of the Florida a University Rattler Boosters Incorporated in the rebroadcast recording. The other use of this broadcast without the express written consent of the Rattler Boosters is prohibited. The Rattler Boosters Incorporated is a direct support organization of Florida a University. This broadcast is a production of Vantage Media Partners of Florida Incorporated. And Damian fires it out here for Adamson Felix, and Adamson fights his way to about the 17-yard line. And on first down, the Rattlers are going to pick up about eight and make it second down and two to go for Florida a and Yeah, Rattler beat writer St. Clair Moraine uh, had a good story this week on, Fe on uh, Adamson Felix Keith, a kid who walked on, only played one year of high school football down at Lake Worth in Palm Beach County and has worked into, uh, uh, into this Rattler receiver rotation. Damian Fleming play action. And now Damian looking down. He's got, boy, Etheridge was wide open. But Damian pulls it down. He's going to pick up the first down as he scampers out of bounds. And that will move the chains. Damian Fleming could have connected with the big tight end, Mike Etheridge, who was wide open. But he pulled it down, got the first down, and got out of bounds. Yeah, and that's what looking, Keith. It was supposed to be a bubble screen. They stepped up, took that away. Uh, those guys actually were downfield looking to throw blocks. Uh, so Damian Fleming does a smart thing, pulls it down, and does pick up that first down. First and 10 Rattlers on our own 22, moving right to left. 3.13 to go. Rattlers leading 14 to 10. And this time Damian Fleming gives to James Owens. And Owens for a yard or two before he is cut down 
by number 33, Herman Hinton, on the stop for Delaware State, 6'2", 220, a redshirt senior out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Yeah, again, we, you know, when we flew in and we made that uh, real steep turn as we were coming into the airport up in Wilmington, you could actually see the Philadelphia skyline off into the distance. Second down and nine to go for the Rattlers of Florida a &M. Damian Fleming sets up, fires across the middle, it's caught. That's Michael Etheridge, and Etheridge is going to move the chains as he's tackled at the 40-yard line. That's a Rattler first down. And Damian Fleming continues his hot play, Keith. Only one missed pass for Damian Fleming so far in this first half. Rattlers with a first down and 10, just shy of our own 40, moving right to left. Going to send triplets this time to the far boundary. Addison Felix, Dwayne Harvey, and Linworth Lennon. And isolate Travis Harvey near side. We've got penalty markers thrown, and we're going to have a legal procedure called against the Rattlers. Yes, yeah, it looks like all It was seven days off since. Five yard penalty. Still first time. Yeah, it really looked as though the center that time, all Madera, sort of double clutched the snap. And that's going to draw the five yard mark off. Two minutes and 11 seconds remaining in the first half of play. The Rattlers leading 14 to 10. And right after this play, we'll pause for station identification. So stations, stay with us. And here we go. Adamson Felix wide to the far boundary. Twins to the near side. Well, actually, it's a spread formation. And now here comes Linworth Lennon, which will load triplets to the near boundary. And Damian Fleming steps up in the pocket. Looks now, Fear fires. That pass is caught. It's Adamson Felix, and he's going to move the chains for the first down at the Hornet 44-yard line. And we'll pause 10 seconds for station identification along the Rattler Sports Network. Damian Fleming sets up in the pocket, pulls it down. And Fleming going to be hit and dropped. And penalty markers are thrown on the play. So we'll await the official word. It's going to be holding against the Rampers. Yeah, I think they're going to get the big fella Hartley. Hold. Oh, 72 losses. 10 yard penalty. Still first. Down. Robert Hartley throws up his hands and says, what did I do? But it's going to back the Rattlers up 10 with a minute 27 to play here in the first half. Yeah, that's a big penalty. It's going to be, they've got to get all the way down to the 34-yard line of the Hornets now for a first down. First down, it looks like 25. All right, here we go. Damian Fleming's going to send Linworth Lennon to the far boundary. And that will load triplets, and now we're going to have a legal procedure call against the Rattlers. Yeah. Yeah, again, they get the big center, Doug Almendares. And it's still first down. But the Rattlers are moving in the wrong direction. Yeah, we're moving the wrong way right now. He's going to make it now. First down, about 25 to go. Linworth Lennon loads triplets to the far boundary damon sets up the screen out here to eddie walker he's got blocking downfield and eddie scoops and fights his way to the 49 yard line of delaware state that pulls it within looks like about <coughs> 15 yards now for around the first time he's going to pick up about 10 of those 25 back on that play yeah the clock becoming something of a problem here with only 42 seconds left damien sets up Fires downfield. A pass caught. It's caught here near the boundary by Travis Harvey, but it does not stop the clock. And so now I think the Rattlers are going to take time. Oh, he's a Who games like Powerball, Mega Millions, Multi Win Lotto, Play Four, and Dozens. Damian Fleming's pass downfield for Linworth Lennon is caught. And
And we've got penalty markers on the play. It's going to go against the Rattlers and nullify a big play. Yeah, and I, I, I'm looking at Hartland. He's telling the referee he's got his hands inside, so he doesn't really understand why he's getting all these holding calls. But, boy, that's a big one. The Rattlers would have been in striking distance. Yeah, with 19 seconds remaining. Yeah, but now we're all the way back, boy, at, to midfield. And Keith, uh, right now, if they could reach the end zone, hey, just throw it up to Travis Harvey and let him out jump somebody. Let him go get it. That's what he did on his last touchdown pass. But the Rattlers have the football now marked at the 50-yard line. And Damian Fleming sets up in the pocket. He's going to air it out. He's got Harvey down there. And, boy, just over, out, just beyond his outstretched hands. Harvey was open. And Damien just had a little too much uh, Tabasco sauce on that pass. Yeah, only three seconds left, so uh, the Rattler offense more than likely going to stay on the field, and let's try to do it again. Harvey actually was able to get a step on the defender, and a better thrown ball would have been his, another touchdown. Yep. They brought a little pressure that time, uh, but you mentioned Damien uh, added about 20 pounds of muscle over the summer, Keith, and you can see in those settled subtle movements in the pocket he just pulls away from the defender and is able to get his passes off yeah devon moore the free safety for delaware state was shaking his head to travis harvey saying no you're not gonna catch that one but he was toast yeah and it, if that pass had just been a little bit on the money it was a touchdown yeah, the secondary is not even playing anything short they're all playing deep and let's see what damian decides to do he's going to send linworth lennon to the near side now that's a spread formation and Damien's just going to throw the underneath for Linworth Lennon. And Linworth is going to turn on the Jets. He's at the 20 and slides down. He was trying to cut back Mike to go inside, but that's going to be the last play of the first half with the Rattlers of Florida and m leading the Hornets of Delaware State by a score of 14 to 10. Our Rattler Boosters halftime show will begin after these words from our local sponsors on the Rattler Sports Network. I'm Mickey Clayton, Executive Director of the Rattler Booster Club. The Rattler Booster Club contributed $591,000 to the Athletic Department of Florida a &M University. Some of the things we were able to purchase this year was the Jumbotron, and we assisted with the scoreboard and the Al Lawson Center. And golf carts for our seasoned Rattler Booster supporters. Pitching machine for the baseball team, the shooting machine for the basketball team. So the Rattler Booster program supports all athletic programs. Join the Booster Club. Call the Rattler Booster office at 850-224-6093. It's not too late. And we're going to be champions. We can't be fair weather people. We've got to be there when the chips are down. We've got to be there when the smiles are on our faces. True champions fight every day. True champions fight all the time. True champions fight when they're tired. Anybody can go when you're on the mountaintop. But we got to go when we're down in the pocket. And we're going to the top. But the march to the top starts right here tonight. This is the year of the Rapper. Go Rappers, go! And we're going to strike. And we're going to strike. And we're going to strike again. This could get ugly. at the first half stats and some scores around the MEAC. Yeah, fast moving first half. Keith and Rattlers leading 14 and 10. They pick up 14 first downs. They did not punt in the first half. 11 first downs for DSU. Uh, Nick Elko, 6 of 9 for 97 yards. But Damian Fleming, 15 of 17 for 247 yards and two touchdowns. Travis Harvey, leading receiver. He's got five catches for 83 for uh, Dell State. It is Tarpley with 53 yards and three catches. Deion Chung, 100 yards and 11 carries. All right, here we go. The Rattlers, James Owen scoops this up at the 15-yard line. He's hit at the 20, still on his feet, and fights his way to the 21-yard 
the 31-yard line, that is, where the Rattlers will begin first and 10 from there. Let's reset the Rattlers' starting lineup. It was Travis Harvey at the flanker, Robert Hartley, the left tackle, Drew Savory, the left guard, Doug Almendares is the center, the right guard is Kevin House, the right tackle, Zary Patterson, Michael Etheridge is the tight end, Eddie Rocker, the tailback, Damian Fleming, the quarterback, Lonnie Lockett, the fullback, and Linworth Lennon is the other wide receiver. In other conference scores around the nation, Savannah State leads North Carolina Central by a score of 17-3. Down in Daytona Beach, they seem to have called the game. It may have been weather. 21-14 is the final. Tennessee State over Bethune-Cookman. All right, here we go. Damian Fleming and the Rattler offense sent to go, and Fleming's going to swing this out. Turns on Phyllis Eddie Rocker at the 45. And Rocker goes down to the 44-yard line, but a penalty marker is thrown on the play, and we may have some kind of infraction against one of the Rattler receivers. In the first half, the Rattlers with 64 yards and eight penalties. It's going to be called holding against Linworth Lennon, and that'll back us up 10 yards and nullify an outstanding play on first down. Yeah, eight penalties for the Rattlers in that first half, and they start this first play with another one. Four penalties the first half for the Dell State Hornets, and they lost only 24 yards. All right, the Rattlers now with a first down and 20 to go with the ball resting at our own 21-yard line. The Rattlers are moving right to left as we begin the second half. Damian Fleming, triplets to the far boundary, isolation near side. Well, that's holding. He just came up and tackled Travis Harvey, and he dumps the pass off to, looks like, Etheridge, and it's going to pick up two or three yards. But number 24, the right corner, Jermon Colston, just came up and tackled Travis Harvey. Yeah, and on a pass play, that should have been called holding. It actually would have been an automatic first down for the Rattlers. Well, the Rattler coaches got to call that one out. I mean, he just came right up and tackled Travis Harvey. It's going to make it second down and 17, a gain of four on the play for the Rattlers. And this time, third down and two is what they're calling it. Linworth Lennon is going to go in motion. We'll have a spread offense with Eddie Rocker in the backfield. And Damian sets up, wants to pass. Shoots his pass out there, and it's incomplete. It was intended over there for Linworth Lennon. And Linworth gets up uh, a little gimpy, and it falls incomplete. We'll see if we can't get an update from Sean on Linworth Lennon as he heads to the sidelines. Going to bring up fourth down. Brandon Holdren will check on the punt, and Travis Tarpley will retreat deep along with Josh Bailey for Delaware State. It looks like they're loading it up to put some pressure on the punt this time. And Holdren gets off a high. Oh, boy, we're going to get it back. They roughed the kicker right there. It's less than five yards for the first down, so even if it's just a simple running into the kicker, that's going to give the Rattles a first down. Yeah, penalty markers on the play. Brandon got off, despite the rough, got off a good kick. But he, the guy did fall into him. Hey, guys, real right quick on that update with Hold Linworth. Up, Sean, hold up, Sean. Hold up. Five yard First down. Okay, go ahead, Sean. Sorry about that, guys. With that quick update about Linworth, they said he was just starting to cramp up a little bit. They're just giving him some fluids. And uh, another thing, before our defense get back on the field, got a chance to peek into the huddle. They're preaching to the guys to stay on their blocks and stop getting beat. He's telling them to watch the gaps and they need to stay in there and stand strong. That's the most thing that they was preaching right now. Back to you guys. All right, thanks, uh, Sean. Didn't want you to walk over the referees, Mike, as he gave us the infraction. The Rattlers are going to get the benefit of the first down after the running into the punter infraction against Delaware State. And it's first and 10 Rattlers now from our own 36-yard line. And Damian Fleming pump fakes, looks, and now throws the out out here. Need a block and turns up field and scoops to about the 40-yard line. That's Travis Harvey. And Mike Travis has been the go-to guy tonight. No question about it, Keith. He has uh, tremendous hands, and he also has the ability to run with the football after he makes the catch. He's a real good safety blanket for his quarterback, Damian Fleming. Yeah, I want to say hi to Kenneth and Alice Rozier. They're listening tonight down in Tallahassee on the big station, 96 Point one jams. Here we go. Damian Fleming sets up, and boy, 
Damien pulls away from a Delaware State defender. Fires his pass. It's caught down. He's got blocking at the 40. 35, 30, 25, and out of bounds goes Dwayne Harvey. Keith, there's a penalty marker on the play, but I think it's going to be a, an infraction against the Hornets. Robert yep. Hartley, there was a guy down around tra uh, Damien's feet. Robert Hartley stopped his block to make sure oh. he wouldn't call for 29 in the defense. The penalty is declined. It's going to go against Delaware State, and that's a Rattler first down. A great play by Damien to pull away from the Delaware State defender and complete that pass to Dwayne Harvey. Takes it all the way down to the Hornet 23-yard line. We're just outside the red zone with 6.33 to play in the third quarter, and the Rattlers are threatening. Yeah, Damien, that work in the weight room over the summer paying off for Damien Fleming. Definitely stronger than he was last year as a true freshman. Might have been a little bit of that lemonade, too. <laughs> All right, here we go. Damien hands it off to James Owens. He bounces outside, turns upfield, and James turns on the Jets. He's down inside the 15 to about the 14-yard line. And James Owens on first down is going to pick up nine yards. It's second down and one for the Rattlers of Florida a and with 6.01 to go here in the third quarter. In other conference action, Ohio University... 44, Norfolk State 10. That game is now a final. Second and one for the Rattlers. Ball's resting at the Delaware State 14-yard line. Rattlers go high formation, two tight ends, and they give it to the Rocket Man, and Eddie Rocker lunges forward. Looks like he's got the first down from our vantage point, but we've been wrong before, so let's wait for the official indicator. Yeah, it's going to be close. Maybe close enough for a measurement. 531 to go in the third quarter. This actually, Keith, is a pretty quick moving game. I want to say hi to the whole seniors clan down in Tallahassee and the, the whole Jefferson Walker. Now, Jefferson Walker's clan is in Tallahassee, but his dad is listening up in Nashville, Tennessee tonight. So I want to say hi to Chief Walker. And uh, of course, we got a big audience tonight. Uh, as we're your connection to the Rattlers. Here we go. Damian Fleming gives to James Owens, and Owens turns upfield. He's got the first down, and that'll move the chains, and the Rattlers continue to march down the field toward the end zone. Yeah, I want to give a shout-out to my sisters, Dorothy Bailey and Irma Keys. They're up in uh, Tallahassee listening in, along with Gene. Yeah, they, they're in town for the big celebration, huh? Yeah, they are. Yeah. That's outstanding. All right, here we go. First down and 10 for the Rattlers. Ball's resting at the Hornet 12. We can get a first down at the Delaware State 2 with 5.07 to play. And the Rattlers have to protect the football in this area of the field. Damian Fleming now going to give to Eddie Rocker. And Rocker cuts back and fights his way down inside the 5 to about the 3. I mean, inside the 10 to about the 8-yard line. And so... Eddie Rocker is going to get four yards on first down and make it second down and six. The ball is resting at the Delaware State eight-yard line. Yep, the Rattlers stand in their spread formation so that, uh, well, actually now they're going to the eye. Let's see if we don't see a little play action right here, Keith. That tight end came open on, this, on that eye formation play action earlier. All right, here we go. Damian under center and does play action. Steps back, fires in the end zone, got a man down there, it's caught, and it's a touchdown, fam, you, is that Travis Harvey? That's Travis Harvey. Travis Harvey once again scores for the Rattlers of Florida A&M. Damien's first look was to his tight end, that time it was taken away, but he gets Travis Harvey crossing deep into the end zone, very good touch on that football, and with 4-12 remaining in the third quarter, the Rattlers take a 20-10 lead. Travis Harvey scores on a great pass from Damian Fleming. Chase Fonador on to attempt the point after. Brandon will hold. Kicks on the way, and it's good. And so, with 4-12 to play here in Dover, the Rattlers extend our lead to 21-4-10. to And we'll be back after these words from our local our network sponsors on the Rattlers Sports Network. Five 
by the Flavor Station. Always represent that real hip hop and R&B. Sean D is in the building to that seven o'clock hour. Travis Harvey on a nine yard touchdown pass from Damian Fleming. Chase Monador, extra point makes it 21-10 FAMU. And here come the Hornets and boom. Delaware State's running or return man was planted on the other side of the field at about the 33 yard line. And boy, that brought some life to the Rattler bench over there, Mike. Everybody's jumping up and down on that hit. That'll make the highlight real. Yeah, it was big brand of Denmark. He the starting linebacker coming down made a tremendous hit. Looks like he might have even broken his helmet as he has to go off the field here for a play. All right, here come the Hornets. They have a first down and 10 from their own 33-yard line with 4.06 to play here in the third. Nick Elko takes the snap, gives it to Cheong, and boy, the Rattlers now have clamped down on those running lanes. Yeah, again, Michael Dupree, Keith, who has been outstanding tonight. Gets in there, he's gonna stop that play for it looks like no game. Second down and 10 for Delaware State. Let's give defensive coordinator Earl Holmes some credit for making some adjustments there at halftime to shut off those running lanes. Here we go. Second and 10 for Delaware State. Triplets to the near boundary, isolation. And Elko fires across the middle for Tarpley. Makes the catch, but he is immediately plastered by Jonathan Pillow. Short of the first down. They're going to mark him at the 41. They need to get to the 44. 40. Looks like they're going to mark it at about the 42. Yeah, he's, yeah. like he's got to get to the 44 for a first down. Yeah, he's about two yards, or maybe a yard, short of the first down. Third down and one. Let's see if the Rattlers can hold here on third and one. Well, they go empty here on a third down and one. Yeah, five wides. Elko, the only person in the backfield. And Elko's looking to pass. He throws the slant. It's caught, but is immediately dropped by Bobby Jackson. Travis Tarpley makes the reception, and that'll move the chains for the first down for Delaware State at the Hornet 45. Yeah, actually a good job of holding on to that football by the Dell State receiver as he was hit as that football was coming in. All right, here we go. First and 10 Hornets. Triplets to the far boundary. Isolation over here near side for Nick Elko. Rattlers threatening blitz. They throw the bubble screen out here for Tarpley. He's got blockers downfield. He's got a first down all the way down to the Rattler 36-yard line. Boy, that ball was barely missed by Bobby Jackson as he came in on a bit from the outside. But that's a good run after the catch. And now Dell State has a drive going. Delaware State on the move now with 2.25 to play here in the third quarter. Trailing 21-10, but on the move at the Rattler, 37-yard line. Here we go, Nick Elko. Going to load Twins to the near side, Twins to the far side. That's the spread formation. And has Deon Cheong in the backfield. And it is Cheong, and once again he finds a lane, but it closes quickly. Brandon and Hepburn. Brand Dr. Brandon Hepburn on the stop, the leader of that Rattler defense. And again, the Rattlers are clamping down those running lanes that were open early in the first half. And because if we don't, we'll never hear the end of it. A shout out to Suspect. Suspect. Boy, you're on our minds way up here in Dover, Delaware. So that should get, buy us a little, little time for next week's uh, press conference. How you doing, buddy? Spread formation to either side. And here we go. Nick Elko swings this pass out. And let's see if that's going to be ruled a catch. And it is. It's caught over there by Justin Wilson at the Rattler 29-yard line. Like, and from our vantage point, I couldn't tell if he trapped that pass or not. But they're ruling it a catch. Terry Johnson was ready to jump that route. He hesitated just a little bit or he would have had a pick and been taking that one to the house. Third down, Delaware State, and two to go from the Rattler 29. 56 seconds remaining in the third quarter. 21-10, the Rattlers lead, but the Hornets are on the move. And here we go, Elko fires the slant. It's incomplete. And that's a great defensive play by Marvin Ross. No doubt about it, Keith. The Hornets are going to go for it right here. They're bringing in a couple of tight ends into yep. their formation. Last time they were in an empty set on one of these and hit the little quick out. Rattlers have their dime package in as they bring a couple of extra defensive backs. And this is a big play, Keith. Yeah. The Hornets 
would certainly like to get some points out of this drive. Let's see if the Rattlers can get a stop. Fourth down and two, Delaware State. Hornets punch three, and then have receivers to either side. Really an empty backfield for Nick Elko. And Elko keeps, and Elko's got the first down as he takes it all the way down to the 21-yard line. The ball pops out, but the Hornets maintain possession. Empty backfield that time for the Hornets. They spread the Rattler defense out, and Elko does a good job of running it up the middle. And uh, he does have that first down at about the 23-yard line. First and 10, Delaware State at the Rattler, 22. With 35 seconds remaining in the third quarter. And here we go. The Hornets send Justin Wilson wide to the far boundary. Triplets near side. Cheong in the backfield. And they give to Cheong. He cuts back. He's finding the lane inside the 15. Inside the 10. He fights his way in for the touchdown. That's a 23, 22 yard run for Dayon Cheong. They spread the Rattlers out on a good cut right at the line of scrimmage back, Young. Allows him to get close to the goal line, and he breaks another tackle, gets in. And with 16 seconds remaining in the third quarter, Delaware State has cut it to that Rattler lead and now appear to be going for two to try to get within a field goal. Boy, he broke a number of tackles to fight his way into the end zone and score for Delaware State. Can you say tackling drills on Monday? Well, again, the empty set here. Cheong now shifts back into the backfield. Elko under center. The Rattlers jump. Play action. They're going to throw back, and it's tipped. That's a great defensive play by, is that Ellie Hippolyte? That's Brandon Davis. Brandon Davis got up and deflected that pass. It was the, it was everybody motioning to the right, Mike. He was going to throw back, hoping to have an isolated receiver over there by himself. But Davis jumped up and batted the pass down. And so the Rattler lead is 21 to 16 with 16 seconds remaining. And we'll be back after these words from our network sponsors on the Rattler Sports Network. Introducing a mobile application that could open up an entire new world for the orange and green faithful with the ability to Check out the latest in-campus news, events, athletic scores, and much, much more. Specifically designed for the FAMU. Whether it's linking to your class courses from your mobile device, looking through maps to find specific buildings on campus, or just having some fun looking through uploaded videos and photos, a great addition to your mobile FAMU student lifestyle. Get your FAMU app today. program supports all athletic programs at the university. Join the Rattler Booster Club. It's not too late. And it's uh, Kano. Check that Mitchell Ward on the kick. A mad scrum for the football. The Hornets say they have recovered. Let's see. The Rattlers say they have possession. Yeah. And there's a fight for the football. And now there's some well, they're pushing people off the yeah. foul, yeah. Still trying to unpile everybody. While we've got a second, South Carolina State has scored and cut the Texas A&M lead to 14-7. to It is Rattler football. Yeah, it looks like the Rattlers will retain possession at our own 28-yard line with 13 seconds remaining here in the third quarter. Savannah State leading North Carolina Central by a score of 14-3. to With 7-47 to go in that game before halftime. Rattlers will have it first down and 10 from our own 28-yard line. Damian Fleming in the Rattler offense. 
going to try and answer the Delaware State score or Delaware State's answer to the Rattler score. Here we go, Fleming on first down. Going to give it to James Owens, and boy, he slips. And uh, looks like that, oh, it was uh, Eddie Rocker. And uh, looks like Rocker slipped but got back up. I don't, maybe. Actually, keep that's number five. Oh, it is. Who is listed as Patrick Aiken, the cornerback. And that's going to be the end of the quarter. We've got to find out who number five is. Yeah, we'll see if we can't get Sean on that. That's the end of the third quarter of play with our score. Florida a 21, Delaware State 16. We'll be back after these words from our local sponsors on the Rattler Sports Network. Introducing a mobile application that could open up an entire new world for the orange and green faithful with the ability to... Check out the latest in-campus news, events, athletic scores, and much, much more. Specifically designed for the FAMU. Whether it's linking to your class courses from your mobile device, looking through maps to find specific buildings on campus, or just having some fun looking through uploaded videos and photos, a great addition to your mobile FAMU student lifestyle. Get your FAMU app today. Damian Fleming drops back now, takes off and runs, and Fleming has the first down as he steps out of bounds at the 42-yard line of the Rattlers. They'll move the chains and keep the Rattlers on the go at 14.53 now as we begin the fourth quarter play. The Rattlers are moving left to right. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification on the Rattlers Sports Network. All right, here we go. Rattlers with a first down and 10 now. And Fleming has pressure. Throws it out here for Linworth Lennon. And it's going to be, he caught the ball. How is it ruled incomplete? I'm thinking they said that one skipped to him. Okay. Now again, Keith, they were trying to run the bubble screen. The yeah. defensive back jumped up and took it away. Yeah. And because it was a screen play, the other blockers, the other receivers were downfield looking for blocks. He just had to throw that football away. Yeah, too much penetration that time by the interior line of Delaware State's defensive front it's as Damian was trying to set up that screen. And Second, o only and his fourth incompletion of the ball game. Yeah. Second down and 10. Linworth Lennon goes in motion to the far boundary. And Damian Fleming sets up to pass. Sense, looks downfield. That pass is caught. Adamson Felix took a huge shot to the back from the free safety, Dick Devon Moore. But he holds on and moves the chains to the 41-yard line of Delaware State. That's a Rattler first down with 14-22 to play in the ball game. And Keith, that, Keith that's all about arm strength. Uh, that was a very small window to put that ball into, but right on the numbers. That time by the quarterback. And a great catch down there by the Rattlers. Here we go. First and 10 from the Delaware State 41-yard line. Damian Fleming now under center. Orange helmets are down. Receivers to either side. Backs in the eye formation. Lonnie Lockett is the up back. And it's the Rocket Man. And Damian's going to fire it outfield. He's got it again. And this is Dwayne Harvey. He breaks the tackles at the 25. And Harvey to the 24-yard line. That's a Rattler first down. Move those chains. And a good check off that time at the line of scrimmage. By, by again, by quarterback Damian Fleming. As he hits Harvey on the crossing pattern. The Rattler's right back in business again. Harvey uh, seems to be coming off a little bit tender after that play. He's going to be replaced uh, by number 11 for the Rattlers, Anthony Williams. And here come those Florida and the Rattlers. Balls resting at the Delaware State 24-yard line. And Damian Fleming going to send triplets to the near boundary. Isolate Travis Harvey to the far side with Eddie Rocker. And it is Eddie Rocker. Patrick Aikens, actually, unless... Uh, Patrick Aikens. Yeah. Hey, guys, just to get the confusion out of the way, that number five jersey that you guys are a little bit tangled up about, he looks familiar running on the field because he's really number 21, James Owens. Ripped his jersey in our last possession. They swapped it out. Okay. Thanks for that, Sean. That's actually James Owens wearing number five. Okay. So James Owens and Patrick Aikens have switched jerseys, I guess. Okay. All right, here we go. Uh, Damian Fleming. 
play action. Going to swing it out here for Lin Linworth. is going to throw back to Fleming. And Fleming now is going to take off and run. He needs a block. And he breaks the tackle. Fights his way inside the 15 to the 14-yard line. The Rattlers pull out the tricks and move the chains. And the Rattler quarterback keeps showing some moves in the open field after receiving that pass. He's going to get down inside the 15-yard line. And it's going to be close. They're going to say it's third down. It's going to be third down and about one from just inside the 15. 12 17 remaining here in the ballgame. Wow, I'm looking at where the ball is spotted and where the first down marker is. And that might have be even been close enough for a measurement. All right, here we go. Third down. We'll call it inches to go. Damian Fleming under center. And Damian's going to just lunge behind his big offensive line, and he's got the first yeah, down. Yeah, they're going to knock him forward that time for the first down. And the Rattlers again threatening now. 11-51. This would be a big answer to that touchdown. He, Damian Fleming just outstanding on the yeah. night. Only four incompletions, and he's approaching 30 throws. I, I think we can already put him down as our offensive player of the game. Yeah, it's, it's really been a good quarterback show. Nick Elko, yeah. 10 of 14, 431 yards. Yeah, here we go. Rattlers with a spread formation, twin receivers to either side, and Damian Fleming with James Owens in the backfield. It's James Owens. Owens tries to turn upfield, but he's not going to be able to go. That's a good defensive play. Let's see, is that Ernest Ajay? Wholesale substitutions coming in for Delaware State as they bring in a completely new defensive line. Yeah, it was Eddie Rocker, the ball carrier, and it was Ajay, 6'2", 25, a senior out of Woodbridge, Virginia, who made the tackle. 11 4 to go. 21-16, the Rattlers lead. Ball is resting at the Delaware State 13-yard line, and it's second down and 10 to go for the Rattlers. Damian Fleming sets up fire. Oh, that pass was deflected. Or he just slipped out of Damian's hands. May have slipped out of his hands, Keith, because that was a lot of traffic right there to be throwing that football too. Got to be careful right here because we're certainly in field goal range, and a field goal even at this point would give us an eight-point lead. Yeah. Actually, we called it second and 10. It's third down now and nine. Third down and nine for the Rattlers. 10.45 to play. The Rattlers would like nothing more to have been put six more on the board here in Dover, Delaware. All right, here we go. Damian Fleming from the gun. Going to send Linworth Lennon in motion. He'll have a sprint formation now. And Fleming fires in the end zone, intended for Linworth Lennon. And it falls incomplete. Yeah, didn't have anything. Good coverage that time by the Hornets. And again, they dropped eight back. And it, down in that area pretty tight. Just nowhere to go with the football. It's going to bring up a fourth down and a field goal attempt. This attempt uh, looks like it's going to be from the 19, uh, 29 yarder here. For Chase Varnador. And let's see. Chase might be able to put some claims down for special teams player of the game if he can knock this one through. Here we go. Kicks on the way. It's high enough, long enough. And it's good. And so the Rattlers add three more to the lead and make it 24 to 16 with 1034 to play. And we'll be back after these words from our network sponsors on the Rattlers Sports Network. It's football. The flavor station always represent that real hip hop and RB. Sean D is in the building to that 7 o'clock hour.
Rattler Booster program supports all athletic programs at the university. Join the Rattler Booster Club. It's not too late. A 29-yard field goal. And Chase gets off a nice end-over-end -end kick. This one's going to sail in the end zone, Mike. And Chase, after that field goal, uh, adding a little more distance to that special teams player of the game as he kicks that one in to the end zone with no return. And so the Hornets will begin first and 10 from their own 25-yard line with 10 minutes and 34 seconds remaining in the ball game. And the Rattlers up 24-16. to 16. Need a defensive stop right here, Keith. Rattlers with an eight-point lead. The Hornets needing a touchdown and a two-point conversion here to tie the ball game. Nick Elko with Chiong in the backfield. Triplets to the near boundary and a wide out to the far side. And Elko wants to throw the screen pass out here to Tarpley. Hurdles his own man, breaks a tackle, and fights his way. Actually, he's going to be called out of bounds. At about, about the 38-yard yeah, line. Around the 38. Yeah. But again, a good answer to that blitz off the edge. They throw the little bubble screen out to the outside and get their uh, quick receiver Tarpley in space. And get a first down for Delaware State. Balls resting at their own 38-yard line, first and 10. They go triplets again now, this time to the far side and isolate a Bruton over here to the near boundary. Nick Elko, one of the better passers in the Mid-Eastern, it's, it's been a quarterback duel here tonight, and they toss this one out here to Tarpley again, and Tarpley's going to pick up another. Oh, boy, a late eight. hit. That's going to have to come back. Boy, that, that's, the Rattler doesn't need to re, uh, yeah. react to that because that's going to be 15 yards against Delaware State for a hit after the whistle. Yeah, Patrick Scott uh, involved in the fracas. Yeah, but it's going to go against the Hornets of Delaware State. Yeah, that's just a guy losing his composure there and really hurting his football team. Dead ball. Number 78 of the, off, of the offense. 15-yard penalty. Still first down. Boy, and he's Second getting, down. getting some stares from the coaching staff over here from Delaware State. Yeah, the referee was sounding like one of those replacement referees, not knowing what down it was. <laughs> 10 one to go. He's still trying to get it all straightened out. And actually, he wants uh, they're going to have a conference here. I think what they're trying to decide is where the markoff is going to be from. Yeah, nullifies an outstanding play, though, and pushes the Hornets back to their 32 yard line and make it second down now and about 16 yards to go for a Delaware State first down. Yeah, that's a dead ball, so the, down, the play should actually count. Right. The, the down should count. And I think that is a, a part of what this discussion is about. Okay, looks like we're ready. 10-0-1 yes. to go in the ball game. Second down and 16 for Delaware State. Ball's resting at the Hornet 32. 24-16 the Rattlers lead. And here we go. Bruton wide to the far boundary. He's going to be isolated over there. Triplets over here to the near side. Elko with Cheong in the backfield. And Elko sets up. Looking, boy, he has pressure. That pass nearly picked up. Well, that was an excellent break on the play by the Rattler defender. Is that Pillow? I think that's Antoine Jameson. Antoine Jameson, number 16. And what a great break on the football. Boy, he almost picked that pass off. Yeah, uh, they tried again, Keith. They throw the, the little screen out there. But that time, the Rattlers were in bump and run coverage. So he was right up on the receivers, too close for those uh, other receivers to help him out and get a block. This is a big third down play now. See if the Rattlers up front, especially Brandon Denmark, can get some pressure. Third down and 16 for Delaware State. Triplets to the near boundary. Upgrading to energy efficient appliances. Elko's pass was intended for Travis Tarpley. Uh, Terry Johnson reached around and batted the pass down, and we get a very late flag from the line judge. Yeah, and a really, really bad call, That's Keith. That's a horrible call. He was in great position, knocked the football down, and that's going to be an automatic first down. Boy, that's a huge call right there. 
Well, that was a great defensive play Pass by. Pass interference. Number four of the defense. Uh -huh. Spot of the foul. First down. Yeah, that's a, that's a really bad call. And it was a late call at that. Yeah, that gives the Hornets a first down there. Great technique that time by Terry Johnson. That was a great defensive play. You can't get much better than that. He not, got his hand in front of the pass and knocked it down. But the Hornets get a pass interference call and a first down. Elko swings this pass out. And, uh, boy, Tarpley's trapped behind the line, cuts back, and trying to get outside. He's at the 45 midfield, 45, and finally ridden out of bounds by Terry Johnson. Yeah, they throw the bubble screen to one side. He cuts it all the way back across the field. And he's going to be pushed out of bounds at the just, inside, yeah, just inside the 45-yard line. At the 44 with 9.20 to go. Yeah, that's a really big call right there, that interference call, to give them another set of downs. I got to give Terry some credit, though. Terry w Johnson was the guy who ran Tarpley out of bounds. and Boy, I know he is feeling pretty mad right about now, but he did not do anything extra, just rode him out of bounds. He could have really shoved him, but he didn't do it. First and 10. For Delaware State at the Rattler 44. They give it to Cheong, and boy, again, the Rattlers have shut those running lanes down. That's uh, Brandon Hepburn and uh, Ellie Hippolyte on the stop. He's going to get maybe one or two, but not much more. It's going to bring up second down and nine to go. Only gets one. Second and nine for Delaware State. Boss resting at the Rattler 42 with 8.46 to play. Rattlers need to tighten up a little defense here now. He got a bad call against us. But the Hornets going to go spread with one setback for Nick Elko. And Elko looks to pass. Sets up, fires over the middle. That pass is incomplete. And there was no way to call interference on that one. Marvin Ross had excellent coverage on the intended receiver, Justin Wilson. Yeah, Marvin Ross got the assignment to be the guy to cover preseason favorite for player of the year, Justin Wilson. And he's done a great job on it. Done a good job on it all night. See how many catches Justin Wilson has on the evening. Just three. Great job by Marvin Ross. Third down <coughs> and nine for Dell State. Triplets to the far boundary. Twins near side. Empty backfield. Five wides for Nick Elko. And Elko sets up. Throws across the middle. That pass is incomplete. Oh! oh. And what? I don't understand, Keith, exactly what they're calling on appearance. That's... Looked as though it was good technique again by the Rattler defender using his offhand to knock the pass away. But the flags fly. Pass interference. Number 52 of the defense. Spot of the foul. First down. Wow. All right, 8.20 to go. And we're in the kitchen here in Delaware State. A little home cooking going on. On that call, too, another pass interference with 8.20 to go. And Delaware State with the ball at the Rattler 36. The drive is penalty aided. Two big penalties keeping this one going. Triplets to the near boundary. Elko tosses it out here to Tarpley. And the Rattlers close. That's a good tackle down there by number four, Terry Johnson. Terry lays out. Boy, I think he, uh, he did a belly kicked. flop. Or something. Yeah, I think he got kicked a little bit too, but he's tough. He's going to stay in the ball game. But that's a gain of about six yards yeah, that time. Second and four. Ball resting at the Rattler 30 with 7.56 to go. Yeah, and really, Keith, I was, have been looking for them to pump fake that little bubble screen and try to go downfield. Here's their power running formation that hurt the Rattlers so much in the first half. All right, they sent a man wide, and he's going to come back in motion. Elko going to swing it out out here. The Rattlers have it covered. Oh, and he's breaking tackles. Oh, my goodness. And finally, a penalty marker goes down as the Rattlers bring down the runner in at the 10-yard line. Yeah, I think How could he break all of those tackles? Yeah, he was trapped way back behind the line of scrimmage. No whistle blew in it. Coach Taylor is coming out saying that his knee was down. And There's the, going to be a big discussion. The penalty marker, Keith, is going to be a face mask against the Rattlers. Personal foul. Face mask, number 19 of the distance. But Half the distance to the goal, first down. Coach Taylor is arguing that he was down back behind the line of scrimmage. Boy, this, you're talking about a penalty A to drive. Pretty much every yard that's been gained on this drive. 
And unfortunately, we don't have the uh, replay benefit here tonight. But another big 15-yard penalty and an automatic first down for Delaware State is going to spot the football inside the 10 all the way down to about the 6-yard line. Well, we're on the road. Yeah, and this is a tough road test, as we yeah. knew it would be. Yeah, we knew it was going to be tough here. Here we go, Nick Elko. One set back, two receivers. Gives it to the running back. Tries to fight his way, turn up field. Can't go. That's Kadir Bryant. And it's going to bring up second down and goal to go for the Hornets. With the ball resting at the Rantler five-yard line. Mass substitutions coming in for Delaware State as they try to get the ball game tied up here as the clock rolls under seven minutes. They would have to score a touchdown and get the two-point conversion to tie it up. Justin Wilson goes wide to the far boundary this time. And they load the eye formation. Give it to number 34, and he rumbles into the end zone. That is Najee Jackson. And so Delaware State now on that penalty-aided drive with 6.39 to play in the ball game, pull within two. Yeah, and another big two-point conversion coming up right here, Keith. Another big two-point conversion, 24-22 our score, and the Horn is trying to get it tied up with 6.39 to go in the ball game. Well, the Hornets are trying a conversion earlier. Didn't make it. Let's see what happens here. The Hornets have one, two, three, four receivers to the far boundary. And Tarpley now isolated. Nope, uh, that's uh, Wilson isolated to the near side. Play action. Elko fires for the big tight end. But did it's get bumped it. out of bounds. They did not get it. That's a great defensive play by, T is that Terry Johnson? Terry Johnson. Terry Johnson redeems himself after he was called for that pass interference. He comes up and makes the big play, and the Rattlers hold a two-point lead with 6.39 to play. All right, a break in the action. 6.39 to go. The Rattlers 24, Delaware State 22. We'll be back after these words from our network sponsors on the Rattlers Sports Network. program supports all athletic programs at the university. Join the Rattler Booster Club. It's not too late. Like it was Terry Johnson who kept the big tight end from going into the end zone after he was called on the pass interference, which we didn't think was pass interference. And Terry makes a big play. It's 24-22. The Rattlers still lead by two with 6.39 to play. But, Mike, it's not over. The Rattlers still have to dig in and hold on and fight for this win. Yeah, they've got their hands team in expecting an onside kick here. All right, here we go. Nine Rattlers up close to the 45. Mitchell Ward kicks it deep. And, oh, James Owens has to pick it up as it bumped. The ball hit him, and he returns it to the 16-yard line where the Rattlers will begin first and 10 from there. Yeah, actually a pretty good kick as that ball sort of tight roped down the sideline. James was waiting to see if it would go out of bounds, but it took a bounce back into the field, so the Rattlers will start in fairly tough field position at the 16. 6.33 to go, and what the Rattlers want to do right now is rattle off the first downs. Yep. And keep that ball really on the ground if we can. We can run the, run the, run some clock and run some football. Nick Elko now 15 of 21 for 194 yards. 
Damian Tw Fleming on the night, 25 of 31 for 369 yards and three touchdowns. Yeah, he might be offensive MV, uh, Emmy Miag Offensive Player of the Week this week, too, for that kind of performance. All right, Damian takes the snap. Play action, swings it out here to Travis Harvey. And Travis scoots his way to about the 23-yard line. And, Mike, I'm going to be honest, they need to come right back to that same play. He was one block away from taking it to the house. Yeah, catches the football, keeping he's got two big blockers out in front of him. That's a good gain though on first down. Yeah, gain of seven, second and three for the Rattlers. Adamson, Felix, and Dwayne Harvey, and Linworth Lennon. Wide to the far side. Isolation again over here to Travis Harvey. One rattler in the backfield with Damian Fleming. Play action, and what a swing that one out for Linworth Lennon. He breaks the tackle, and Linworth lunges forward to the 25-yard line. It's going to bring up third down and about a yard to go, maybe a yard and a half for a rattler first down. Big third down conversion right here. Yeah, Rattlers need to get the first down, keep the clock moving most importantly. Yeah, the play that they've been using on most of these situations, Keith, has been the uh, the sweep read. Either he's going to hand it off. Or well, keep it himself. Or keep it himself. This time actually goes under center. Haven't seen this a lot. Yeah, spread formation, one set back. And Damian Powers just fight right behind the big offensive line. And let's see where Boy, they spot the football. That's a tough-looking spot. So really, let's see. Yeah, with the ball right there, it's going to be a first down. So yeah, it is a first down for the Rattlers. Clock is going to roll under 530 now. Yep. That's a huge first down. Big first down for Damian. And once again, you, you're seeing why tonight he has been our offensive player of the game. That's just an outstanding effort to follow his big, big horses up front to get the first down. Rattlers with it at the 26-yard line now, our 26, moving left to right. And here we go, Damian. Play action, sets up, swings it out here for Linworth. Linworth decides he's going to put a move on a Hornet and fights his way to the 34-yard line. That's a great play by Linworth Lennon. Put a move on a Hornet, juked him out of his shoes. He, he actually sort of stood still for a and second. waited on him to see what he was going to yeah, do. Yeah, let the defender commit and then sort of ran away from him. That's another good game, though, on first down. Gives the Rattlers two chances now to pick up another first down and keep that clock running. Back in the alley where I grew up, that play is called psych. Thought you had me. Psych. <laughs> Linworth, second down and seven. He picks, I mean, and three. He picks up seven yards on that play. And here we go. Yeah, working the yeah. clock a little bit now by Damian. Damian gives it to James Owens, who tries to turn up field, but can't go. He, he, may, he may actually have not made it back to the line of scrimmage. It's going to bring up third down and about three to go for a Rattler first down. The Rattlers need to consecutively get first downs to keep the clock moving. Yeah, he was waiting uh, for his big offensive tackle to throw a block, waited a little bit too long. You're right, may have lost a half a yard. Now it's going to be third down and three, another Possession down. Yeah, possession play for the Rattlers on third and three. Rattlers and Felix and Dwayne Harvey. Wide near side. Here comes Linworth Lennon triplets over here. Isolation to Travis Harvey on the far side. And uh, Damian sets up, fires across. He's got, Dame, he's got Dwayne Harvey, and that's a first down. Dwayne's got the first down. That'll keep that clock moving. They took his uh, first receiver away, Keith. He wanted to go to Travis Harvey on the slant. They double team Travis, but he goes to the other Harvey, Dwayne. And again, Keith, uh, first down and now the clock at 3 minutes and 30 seconds. And the Rattlers have the football at our own 39. 3.23 to go. The clock is ticking. 24-22, the Rattlers lead. I formation this time for Damian Fleming. Yeah, and he's working the clock right now, Keith, looking at the play clock on the other end, letting it run down. Orange helmets are down. He's going to give to his eye back. And that's James Owens. And, boy, tough yards running up in there. He's going to get a couple. Oh, that's actually Eddie Rocker, the ball carrier, and he's going to be stopped in there by George Mansaw, Rodney Gunter, Tarek Colson, and Keith Hunter. It's going to bring up a second down and about eight to go for a Rattler first down. Ball's resting at our own 41. But most importantly, running right now, Mike, keeps that clock ticking. Yeah, the little flare out of the backfield to the back has been open most of the night, Keith, and that's a nice safe throw, keeps the clock running. Yep, twin near side, isolation far side, 
And it looks like the Rocket Man in the backfield with Damian. You know, and this time it's James Owens. He tries to turn the corner. He does turn the corner. James is now going to be bumped out of bounds at about the 43-yard line. And it's going to make it third down. And about seven to go for the Rattlers. Damian tosses this out here to Travis Harvey. Harvey's going to have the first down, and that's all he needs. He takes it into Delaware State Territory at the 49, but it moves the chains and will keep the clock ticking. Yeah, Keith, you, you call for them to come back to that play. This time they do it. Again, it's the quick screen move. out to Dwayne Harvey. And the referee is looking at the clock right now. Yeah, they said the clock didn't move on the play. Uh, I mean, under center, orange helmets are now. Play action. Damian going to throw right over the middle for the big tight end. And, well, that's a great defensive play. That's a great defensive play by Devon Moore, 5'11", 190-pound junior out of Mount Vernon, New York. As uh, Michael Etheridge might had more not knocked that pass away, Etheridge might have rolled to the house. Boy, and what that does, though, Keith, is stops the clock. Yeah. At 2.07 right here, they've already used two timeouts. Rattlers probably want to put that ball on the ground and get the yeah. clock running yeah, again. Clock running. But now, now it becomes a thing you've got to pick up that first down. Eddie Rocker's in the backfield for the Rattlers. And it is the Rocket Man who gets the call. He cuts back. He's got running room. and keeps it moving. And Eddie's going to be real close to the first down if he didn't. Oh, he's going to move the chain. And, boy, that, that's a backbreaker first down right there, Keith. That might do it for the Rattlers. Time uh, with two timeouts already burnt by the Dell State Hornets. Yeah, the it, Rattlers are celebrating. Yeah, it's going to be line. real tough for the Hornets now to get the football back. Chime in, Sean, if you got your mic open. 22 seconds remain on the play clock, so the Rattlers won't have to snap this football until the clock is near a minute and 30. All right, here we go. Damian Fleming under center. Orange helmets are down a minute 41 to go. And Damian gives it again. The Rattler running back stumbles. And that's James Owens this time. Well, they're going to use that last time out, right? Gets the clock down to a minute 31. Delaware State took time out. I think that was their last time out of the ball game. And here we go. The Rattlers with a minute 31 to go. We'll go back probably to the run and try to eat up clock. Mike, who's our leading tackler uh, right now in right. the ball game? I think Michael Decree and Brandon Hepburn right now tied with eight tackles apiece. Well, we might have to go co-defensive play. Decree's had a great night. And here we go. It is the Rocket Man once again, and Eddie fights his way across the 35 down to the 32-yard line, and it's going to bring up third down, but most importantly, that clock is going to run. Yeah, clock is running. A minute 13, and the Rattlers certainly taking all the time they can here between plays. This is going to be a third down play now. Third down and six to go for the Rattlers of Florida a and And, Mike, we can just... I mean, really, we can run it again. Yeah, you got to run it again. Yeah, and get two or three yards and, and then, you know, run it again on fourth down. Here we go. Keep it on the ground. And it's going to be the rocket again. He's going to turn that corner, and he's got, he got the first, first down. down and he he's goes got down the first down. And, and stay, he goes down stays inbounds. inbounds. That, want, that should do it. What a great play to go down inbounds after he gets the first down. And the Rattler offense, Keith, you, they call this a four-minute drill. The Hornets are not going to get the football back. Well, Eddie Rocker got up off of that turf. He was gimping and limping a little bit. We'll have to check on him, make sure he's okay. But that was a great run by the Rocket Man. Yeah, we're going to see the victory formation now. Just take a knee, and this is going to be it. 25 seconds remaining, and the Rattlers are going to come to Dover and win it over. Damian Fleming in victory formation will take a knee, and that ought to do it. That's going to do it. Here in Dover. Big win for Joe Taylor and the Rattlers of Florida. And, and we pulled the 500 on the season, but most importantly, undefeated in conference play. No question about it, Keith. A huge road win. We talked about the conference having some parity and every game being tough. The Hornets came out and played the Rattlers right down to the end, but they do hold on for the two-point win at 24-22. to All right, we've decided that our offensive player of the game without question is Damian Fleming. Mike Dupree and Brandon Hepburn will be our co-defensive players of the game. And Chase Barnador, our special teams player of the game. We'll be back with our Visit Tallahassee Rattler wrap-up show after these words from our local sponsors on the Rattler Sports Network. If we're going to be champions, we can't be fair weather people. 
We've got to be there when the chips are down. We've got to be there when the smiles are on our faces. True champions fight every day. True champions fight all the time. True champions fight when they're tired. Anybody can go when you're on the mountaintop. But we got to go when we're down in the mountain. And we're going to the top. But the march to the top starts right here tonight. This is the year of the Rattler. Go, Rattlers. Go. And we're going to strike. And we're going to strike. And we're going to strike again. This could get ugly.